Utah students, it's Mr. Clifford with a quick introduction to Macroeconomics Unit 5, International Trade and Foreign Exchange. Now you learned back in Unit 1 that countries should benefit from trading. I'll specialize in one thing, you specialize in something, and then we trade. And that's what happens in the real world. Countries trade with each other all the time. You're going to start off by learning something about net exports. You're going to find out when it's negative and positive and we have a trade deficit or a trade surplus and what that means. And then you jump into some of the details, something called the current account and the capital account. It makes you understand when there's a transaction, is it towards the current account or is it towards the capital account? From there, you get to the most important thing, which is foreign exchange, the idea of currencies, right? When I buy something in another country, they don't want my currency, they want their currency. And so there's a supply and demand for dollars or euros or yen, and that's called foreign exchange or forex. You understand the idea of appreciation and depreciation. If somebody from Japan wanted to buy things from the United States, Right? They would demand dollars, which makes sense, but they have to supply yen to do it. And that would cause the dollar to appreciate and the yen to depreciate. Now, be careful when you talk about foreign exchange and interest rates. Right? When we learned about interest rates, we found out that interest rates are good or bad depending on what you're doing with it. Am I taking out a loan or am I giving a loan to someone? If the United States has a high interest rate, your question is, was that good or bad? Are other countries going to want dollars or not want dollars? And the answer is they're going to want dollars, right? If the United States has high interest rates, other countries are going to want to buy our bonds and get that high interest rate. Good luck. Until next time.